it was created by Sports Act 2013. However, it came into operation in 2014 when the first um, staff members were um, posted from the ministry uh, responsible for sports. Now, the mandate of the Kenya Academy of Sports is to train sports men and women. That is our core function. Our other mandate is to train technical staff so that they are proficient in their work. People like coaches, um, um, even in referees, we can do that in conjunction, of course, with the with the local federations and with the international federations, and other technical people, uh, trainers, and so on. We can train them also to make them more proficient in their work. So that is our responsibility. And another very important responsibility of the Kenya Academy of Sports is to conduct research in sports matters. Uh, you will realize that probably only the universities conduct um, um, research in this area. So the Kenya Academy of Sports will be looking more into the performance side of sports. Why is it that we are doing well in one particular sport and how can we even become better? And in our weak areas, why is it that we are weak in that area and how can we improve on our performance? So those are our, our mandate. We are working with relevant organizations and institutions to ensure that we develop selection criteria that is going to be fair to everybody so that we don't leave any talented young boy or girl out there wherever they may be in the entire Republic of Kenya. And also we are working with the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development to develop curricula. This is important because right now we've got sports academies all over the country, but those sports academies are not following any specific curriculum. So we are working with the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development and on board we also have sports federations, our sport, local sports federations, they are with us in this, and other stakeholders, the universities, Kenyatta universities represented, Nairobi universities represented, and other stakeholders. Together we are working on the curriculum of the first six sports disciplines that we are going to have, and these are football, athletics, basketball, volleyball, cricket, and golf. That is the first set of six sports disciplines that we are working on. So that if a child will be learning golf in Nairobi, it's the same thing they'll be doing this if they're the same age group. If they are, for example, 12 year olds learning golf in Nairobi, they'll be doing the same thing as a 12 year old in Mombasa is doing so that the curriculum is almost standard. Right. Another successful thing that the Kenya Academy of Sports has done, every school holidays, we mount um, training programs for school going children uh, in various parts of um, Nairobi particularly, but we will move to other towns as well. We've got um, um, Karuri, which is purely owned by us, where we are conducting cricket um, together with um, other stakeholders. We've got uh, um, Ngaka in Makweni, where we are doing a wide variety of, of, of sports, among them athletics and football. Then we've got also um, um, Rabai Road here in Nairobi, where we are doing again a wide variety of sports. Then we've got at Mukuru Kwanjenga, the informal settlement, together with support from our partners UNICEF, we are working on something, a sports program to help to empower um, to help to empower sports young sportsmen and women from disadvantaged backgrounds. And that is why we've gone to the informal settlements of Mukuru and we shall be expanding this program with the support of UNICEF who are our partners. Then in Kariobangi there is a center called Akakoro. Again, we are working on that and there we are developing football. Um, in At St. George's School in Nairobi, we are doing roller sport as well. So that you can see already we are reaching out a wide variety of sports uh, disciplines. Also in-house, we have FC Talanta, which is playing in the second tier of football. And uh, uh, FC Talanta is doing very, very well. It's one of the leading um, um, teams right now in the Division One league of the Football Federation of, of Kenya. FC Talanta was 
made up of young talented um, men whom we selected and gave training here at the Kenya Academy of Sports and then after that we formed a platform for them to now showcase their talent by playing in the league and comparing themselves with the others and they're doing very very well we have managed to send out very many um, well-known personalities well-known names um, I think um, engineer Olunga George Olunga is one of the products of our pro, pro, programs in, um, in in football. And in volleyball, we have Gaudencia Makoha, who is also one of our programs. She's playing uh, professional volleyball out of the country, I think in Poland. And so we have already got some graduates who are already playing well out there. And a lot of them have been absorbed into um, other clubs as well. The Kenya Academy of Sports is already partnering with the Teacher Service Commission and with the Ministry of Education so that we can access the schools and use the schools as units to develop sports programs. We will have very well selected coaches and trainers whom we shall assign duties in those various uh, schools. And so they will help to improve, improve the standards of these children in the schools. And I'm sure the Ministry of Education will see the marked improvement in the standards of these children when it comes to the school games and so on. And it is from the school games again and with further training that we shall be able to select different age groups of children that are going to represent this country in different age group categories. For example, under 15s, under 17s, under 19, under 21 and so on. So with this way, if we can have these things rolled out in a systematic way and in a technical way, then this country will be great in sports so that we want to build on elite sports so that these elite athletes are the ones in different age categories who will be representing our country so that is the work in progress that we are working on right now in a very short time in a period of just about three or four years the kenya academy of sports has achieved quite a lot and we are the name to work with in sports because we want to okay. give the best we want to develop the best that kenya can pro produce so we must give them the best coaches even the former national um, um football coach uh, okumbi is in our program he works with us also and when we mount the programs we bring okumbi on board to also assist these children that shows you the level of quality that we want out of the children and the level of quality that we inject into the children so we want the best out of them but we must balance the number and the resources available if we get more resources we'll be able to do more vigorous programs in other parts of the country as well and we will get there step by step The role of the Kenya Academy of Sports is actually to develop elite sport. The ultimate is to develop elite sport. But even the development of the elite sports must start from somewhere. As we go along the way, we will find other um, young men and women who are not who cannot match up because of the limitation in talent, limitation in time, limitation in various other. Uh, things. So now these ones, we will offload them to the level which is suitable for them as we continue to build on the elite until we have the very best representing this country. And we will concentrate on the very best while at the same time those who cannot be the very best can still find places along the way that they can go and participate in. For example, we can offload some to some clubs. We can offload some to other institutions where they can also still be able to play their sport and also be able to achieve and also be able to derive the satisfaction that all of us derive from sports. And most importantly, the very best will go out to play for this country in various sports disciplines. The board which is governing the Kenya Academy of Sports is led by renowned world athlete Dr. Paul Tergat, who is the chairman. And among them, we've got very renowned athletes. We've got uh, we've got um, Kayange, who is um, a, one of our best exponents in rugby. All Kenyans know Humphrey Kayange. He sits in our board. We've got Catherine Dereva. It's a well-known name. Everybody knows her. Um, champion in cross country. She sits in our board. Tekla Lorupe sits in this board. 
a well-known um, 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 marathon runner. At one time, she was even the world marathon um, ladies um, um, champion or record holder, and, and so on. These are people, and of course, we've got very rich uh, representation from the ministry responsible for sports, from the attorney general, from the ministry of finance, from the ministry of education, and so, so it's a very rich and very cohesive board that we are having here to run the affairs of the academy. Uh, Kenya Academy of Sports. And then on the part of the management, which is currently being led by me, I, I believe most Kenyans know me and I believe that I've played my part and I continue to play my part in sports development in this country and I've got a strong management team also made up of uh, very experienced sports officers and administrative staff and together we are championing the interest of this organization and ensuring that the Kenya Academy of Sports meets its mandate. We are making some progress. We keep on seeing every day new sports that Kenyans were not participating in before. Um, and we see them coming on board and more and more Kenyans are participating in them. I think that's a good sign. That is a sign that our sport is growing. However, at the um, qualitative side, on the quality side, um, we still have room to work on. And that is now the advantage of the academies. The academies represent the future. The academies must come up and be well regulated in the country to give that intensive training which is geared towards developing quality athletes. And so if all the academies did this together, I'm glad also in Parliament we've had recently, and it has been passed by Parliament, and I believe it's going to be assented to by um, His Excellency the President, that we have sports academies in every constituency, fully supported by the government, of course, and other stakeholders. Now, if this takes place, you can see that we shall be able to tap young talent right from the constituency level. And if we do that and build to the county level and then build to the regional level and to the national level, giving proper instructions and guidance to these people coming up and exposing them to as much sport as possible, then quality of Kenyan sport will definitely uh, go up. And we are on track. We are already doing that. That is exactly the reason why Sports Act 2013 came into being and set five major institutions which are meant to drive Kenyan sport to the next level.